Matthew 2, verse 1 to 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born the King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Welcome to Debbie DeVries Ministry, where each week I systematically walk us through a portion of scripture in order to help give a greater understanding of the character, the undeniable presence, and faithfulness of God. Now, it's interesting to note that Matthew actually tells us very little about, little about the birth of Jesus. Luke 2 is where we find those recorded details. Matthew does, however, tell us about something that happened after the birth of Jesus. Instead of giving details about the nativity, he tells us about the Magi. See, Jesus is born, and he is more than likely no, no older than two. And there's a star that appears, two Magi from the east. Now the Magi, or wise men, who were very well acquainted with astrology, follow this star and they land up in Jerusalem. They call it the star King of the Jews star. Now what the star is exactly, well, we don't know. There is speculation as to what it is, but speculation is all that it is. One thing that we can all agree on is that the star went before the wise men, leading them to the house where Jesus was. You see, this star is very unusual, and it can only be accounted for as a miracle. And that's it. And we read, we read that King Herod heard that a baby had been born who would be king of the Jews, and he's disturbed. He doesn't want this baby, imagine that, he doesn't want this baby to interfere with his power in any way, shape, or form. And we're also told that all Jerusalem was troubled as well. The city that should have Jerusalem should have been overjoyed with this news as they were waiting for the Messiah to be born. And well, they seem to be more interested in ignoring the great news as it could upset their status quo or risk the displeasure of the hated Roman rulers. It's something worth pondering. It's something worth pondering. I'm going to say it again. They hear about the Messiah and they are more interested in ignoring it as it could upset their status quo or risk the displeasure of somebody else. Now Herod, he calls all the Jewish leaders to come over for a meeting as he wants to know where this king is born. It's interesting, the chief priests promptly quote Micah 5 verse 2. And Micah 5 verse 2 identifies Bethlehem as the king's birthplace. So King Herod deceitfully sends the Magi to go find where Jesus is under the pretense that he himself would like to go worship the new king. So the Magi go and it's off to Bethlehem. And the star stops over the house where Jesus is. And the Magi, they bow down and they worship the King of the Jews. It's interesting to note that as soon as Jesus is born, there's a stir. Jesus hasn't even spoken a word yet. He hasn't performed any miracles, nor has he spoken concerning any doctrine. And there's a stir. All that could be heard was an infant's cry. All that could be seen was a baby, and yet his influence on the world, it's manifested. Wise men from the east come to find him. Herod is jealous, jealous of a baby, and the Jewish people are troubled, even though they were waiting for him. They were. Even as Jesus, or even as a baby, Jesus had infinite power. Now, verse 10 tells us that when the star appeared, as the wise men were now on their way to Bethlehem, they were overjoyed. These Gentiles, meaning they're not Jewish, they diligently sought after Christ. They diligently, I'm going to say it again. These Gentiles diligently sought after Christ. Herod, he planned to kill him. The priests and the scribes, so the religious Jewish leaders, were at this point indifferent, and the people of Jerusalem are disturbed. 
Now, the Jewish leaders knew exactly where their Messiah was to be born. They quoted scripture. As soon as they were asked, they knew the answer. They knew where to go to find him. But they are indifferent. They didn't go. My friends, it's not enough just to know the Bible. It's not enough just to know scripture. It's not enough to know about God or about Jesus. So the question is, is the Bible just words to you? Something worth thinking about. Words you are familiar with, but really, you don't put much stock in them. Or, or is the Bible... A Bible, a gift that God has left for us, full of words that bring life. The Jewish people know where Jesus was to be born. They were told he had arrived. They knew that he would be born of a virgin in Bethlehem. Scripture told them. They knew it. They knew that he'd be laid in a manger. And they also knew, according to Numbers, that the star would appear. They knew the promises, they knew the prophecy, and they and, and that's where it stopped. Well, for most of them anyways, it stopped right there. Now you and I, we're not going to be going to Bethlehem following a star to meet with our Savior, but we can seek after him. And how do we do that? We do it through scripture. Don't just know about the Bible or know what the Bible says. Seek after Jesus, my friends, just like the wise men did. They went out of their way to find the Messiah. They made it their business to seek him out. Seek after Jesus through scripture and you will. You will find him. Now it's interesting to note because we can look back. Herod's hatred wasn't able to stop God. The Jewish leaders' indifference, which turned into hatred as well, was not enough to stop God. Murderous plans, murder itself, is not enough to stop God. Why? Because God's plan is unstoppable. God's love is unfathomable. And God's mercy, mm, it's unmeasurable. God met the shepherds. Shepherds who were social outcasts, we look at that last week, where they were, way that, where they were at, they were in a field at night in darkness, both literally and figuratively. And what did they do? They left their post in order to seek out their savior. God met the Magi where they were at, where they were at. They were... They were men who were interested in dreams and and stars and in magic. And God met them where they were at. He, He revealed himself to them and they left their post in order to seek out the Savior. Here's the thing. God will meet you and he will meet me exactly where we are at. No place is too dark or no place is too far away from him. So seek after him. We have something way better than a star to follow after. We have the Bible and through scripture, my friends, Leave your post, figuratively speaking, of course. Leave it like the shepherds did and like the wise men did. And you, you will, you will find him. I'm so glad that you were able to join me on today's podcast. You can learn more about me and my ministry at debbiedevriesministry.ca. It's my desire that through this podcast, you are drawn into a deeper relationship and a clearer understanding of who God is, who Jesus is, as we spend the time to get to know God the Father and Jesus our Savior as revealed through the Bible. I would love to connect with you. My social media links and email address can be found on my website. Let me know if anything I've said on the podcast has made a difference in your life. Leave me a review or shoot me a a personal email. But until we meet again, keep reading, keep reading on, and grow in your relationship and your love with God the Father, Jesus, His Son, our Savior, through the Holy Spirit. Amen.